Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Starfield Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to script through Visual Studio Code. Now, a big shout out for this video goes out to uh, Redort, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, for putting up a Nexus post and showing how to get the extension into VS Code, but more crucially, how to fix a couple of issues with it that would have prevented it from actually working as expected. And also a big shout out goes to my partner, SimSim899, who has figured out how to do all the compiling aspect of it. So you can not only visualize things in Visual Studio Code in terms of scripting, but you can also compile them from within there and live edit all of your scripts. Now, what this video will not be is a video on how to actually do all the scripting, how to use various functions, how to make things happen in the game. This is purely going to be getting set up for it within Visual Studio Code. However, I may well do videos in the future especially once we've got the Creation Kit wiki in place uh, to show you how to do all of that stuff and start with the basics and roll through into the more advanced stuff. But without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Before we jump into Visual Studio Code, the first thing we need to do is extract all of the vanilla scripts and the source files for the vanilla scripts from a content folder. To do this, we need to navigate in File Explorer to our Starfield directory so I'm just going to my data folder and backing up by one. This is usually located under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Starfield. It might be slightly different for you. I have it installed on my G drive, my games drive. And once here, you'll need to double click on Tools. You should see that there is a folder in here, or a zip folder more specifically, called contentresources.zip. You will need to right click this and using the extractor of your choice, I'm just going to use the built-in Windows 11 extraction tool, you will need to extract all to this location. Now you could go in and just extract the script, but honestly it makes sense just to get this extracted so it's all accessible because there's a few more things in there other than just scripts. But click extract all and then just wait for that to complete. Once the extraction has completed and it could have taken some time, uh, we'll go into the folder and we'll click into scripts and you will find that in here we have all of the PSC files for all of the scripts in the game alongside things like the fragments for quests and all of that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is just control and A on the keyboard so that selects everything in that folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to either cut or copy. I'm just going to copy these. I'm going to go back to my main directory, go to data. And if I don't have a scripts folder in here, I'm going to go ahead and create one. I'm going to enter that folder there. And then I'm going to right click new and create another folder in here called source. And then in there, I'm going to paste all of the scripts that I just extracted. Give that a few moments to do so. And once we've set up Visual Studio Code, we'll point it to be able to view and use all of these scripts in here. Now for the fun part, you'll need to install Visual Studio Code by visiting the website. There will be a link in the description down below. And once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, we'll be ready to start the installation. Now simply run the installer. Follow through all of the installation steps by clicking next. And you can also add the option for the open with code in File Explorer. I would recommend this one. And finish the installation. Give that a few moments. And then launch Visual Studio Code. And once you've set up your preferences for the program, you'll need to install the extension by clicking on extensions on the left, three little dots at the top, install VSIX, and navigate to your Starfield directory. In there, go into the Tools folder and the VS Code Papyrus add on folder, and then click on the VSIX file and click on Install. Give that a few moments and it should show at the top left. Now with nothing else open in Visual Studio Code, we're going to create a workspace by clicking on File, Save Workspace As, and navigating to your Mods folder. For me, this is in my Mod Organizer 2 data, Starfield Mods, and then give this file a name such as Starfield Workspace, click on Save. 
Now reopen the workspace by clicking on File, Open Workspace and File, click on your workspace file, click Open, and then add some folders on the Explorer on the left by clicking on Explorer, Open Folder, navigate to your Mods folder, for me this is MO2 Mods, add that one and you should see them appear on the left. Right click and you're going to add another folder to the workspace and we're going to add the overwrite folder. And you should see all these appear on the left. Now we need to make some changes to your workspace file. So just open that up from the left hand side. You should see it under mods and remove everything in there and replace it with what I've got in the description down below. Now you will need to change your file path. This will need to match wherever your script source are located in your Starfield directory. Once done, click Save. And then you should see that all of the source files appear on the left hand side, alongside your mods and overwrite folders. Now there's a few settings to change on the extension, so click on Extensions down the left, the cog by the extension, and click on Extension Settings. And on here we'll need to click on each of these tabs, so we'll start with User and change 76 to Starfield. And you'll need to do this on Workspace and also each of your folders as shown here. Next up we're going to install an additional extension to allow the compiling within Visual Studio. So in the search box type for Command Variable. And go for the top one here made by Rio7, click on install and should be as simple as that. The final step will be to create a tasks JSON file for allow compiling within Visual Studio Code. To do that I'm going to load up a mod that I know has some scripts here and I'm just going to go to the source and open that up. You'll also see all going well that you have all the features you'd expect such as text prediction and it will fill in all of the events and functions and things like that. I'm just going to go ahead and compile this using Control, Shift and B or alternatively click on Terminal and run Build Task. And we'll need to run through the top middle here to create a file from template and use Other. Wipe everything out that's in this field and replace it with what I've got in the description down below and save it. Now you will need to change the directory paths here to where your files are stored again similar to what we did earlier on with the workspace file and then file save. With that done go ahead and try compiling a script and all going well you should find at the bottom that it successfully compiles the script. Before we finish up there are a couple of things I'd like to cover that might throw you off when modding with Mod Organizer 2 if you are new to scripting especially. The reason I have this overwrite folder here is that every time that you create a brand new script it tends to be thrown into the overwrite. So you'll need to drag and drop it into your relative mod folder that you've created for your mod once you're done. And from here going forward it will then save it in the correct location. So what I've done here, I've just created a very basic little test activate script and we're going to show that when I go into the kit, having saved and compiled that, it should display an update live in the creation kit. So I'm just going to go and add it to a random object here, edit the source in the kit and you can see our text is there. The second worthy mention here is that if you're looking to edit vanilla scripts, you are best making a copy of them and putting them into your mod folder. Otherwise, what's going to happen is when you go in from the source on the left and compile one of these, it will compile it, but it will leave it loose in the data folder and it will also override the source that you've got in your script source folder. So just make a copy of these instead and put them into your mod folder and then edit them from there. One very final mention is that historically, if you've used Skyrim and Fallout 4 and you've been doing scripting in there, you would usually go ahead and add your script in here and you would right click and you would edit in external editor whether it's one that already exists or one that you've created completely new and then that would open up in whatever external editor you've used for your scripting however I would not recommend using this whatsoever your mileage might vary but for me it freaked Visual Studio Code out and it didn't load the workspace and if the workspace isn't loaded in Visual Studio Code 
it is not going to allow you to compile the script. So you'll see there it just sort of loaded, flickered away. And if I load it back up, it's going to highlight red at the top left here. And if I was to try and go ahead and compile it, it's going to start whinging because it hasn't got the workspace loaded. So make sure that when you are editing your script, you've got your workspace loaded. So click on File and you will need to open Workspace from File or you can do Recent and you will need to navigate to it. Uh, my brain, where am I? Here we go. Mods. Here's my file. Make sure that's open. And then just navigate to the script that you want to change down the left and just have this open whenever you're modding script based mods and you should be absolutely fine. Best to do it that way. And that is just about it for this creation kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section down below. And if you have any additional thoughts or solutions to make this sort of thing even easier, please don't hesitate to let me know down below or via my website's contact form. Hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell notification if you don't want to miss future videos like this one. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the star field.